Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on changing the subject of a formula where the subject is squared. So remember to make x the subject of the formula means you want to get x on its own on one side of the equation. So you could write x equals then something and get x on its own on one side of the equation. Now remember my tip for this, we want to undo the last thing done to the subject each time. I'll explain what that means. That means, if we think about the story of what's happened to this x, well, the x is being squared and then we're adding b, what was the last thing we did? Well, the last thing we did was add the b, so we want to undo that, and you undo it by doing the opposite. The opposite of adding b is subtracting b, and we do that to both sides of the equation, because what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same to the other to keep it balanced, because it's an equation. Both sides should be equal. So we're going to minus b from both sides of the equation, undoing the last thing we did here. So we get the a minus b on the left, and on the right hand side, by subtracting b, we're getting rid of that plus b, leaving just x squared. So we're almost done here. We've got to again think, undo the last thing done to the subject, or x was squared, we want to undo that squared, so we square root both sides of the equation. So we square root both sides of the equation. We're going to square root the whole thing, it's the square root of a minus b, we do not square root each individual thing. So it's not root a minus root b. The square root has to go over the whole thing. It's not the same otherwise. And if we square root the right hand side, the square root gets rid of the squared, leaving just x. Now technically, we could put plus or minus here, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Because if you think about it, if I had to say x squared equals 9, and I asked you, well, what squared is equal to 9? Well, that could give you x is 3, because 3 squared is 9, that would be a solution to this equation. But minus 3 squared is also 9. Minus 3 times minus 3 would be 9. So you can see that x could be 3 or negative 3, and we could write that as plus or minus 3. And that's what that symbol means, plus or minus. It could be either of these. And that's why we need this plus or minus here. Whenever you square root both sides of the equation, you should put a plus or minus there. But generally, in exam mark schemes, they often uh, condone the lack of that, so they let you get away with not writing that plus or minus, usually. OK, right, we're going to apply the same thing here. What is the story of what's happening to x? And then we're going to undo each of those things in reverse order. x is being squared, then we times it by d, then we added c. This addition, remember, is we're adding these two things together. The c and the dx squared are being added together. So the last thing we did was add the c. So we undo the add c by subtracting c from both sides. So that becomes b minus c. And the minus c gets rid of that add c there, leaving just dx squared. Now let's think of what's happening to x here. And we're going to apply the step again. x is being squared. And then we're timesing it by d. So we've got to undo that times by d first, by dividing by d. A common mistake students would make at this point is that they would square root both sides because they think they see the square there, think, oh, I've got a square root. But they don't think about the proper order. The x is being squared, then it's being multiplied by d. It's d lots of x squared. The squared is happening to the x first. So this over d is b minus c all over d. Remember, we write divisions in algebra using fractions. We don't use a divide symbol. And then x squared times d divided by d. That gets rid of the times d, leaving just x squared. And then finally, we want to get rid of that squared, so we square root both sides. And then we put the square root over the whole thing. And if we're being pernickety, we're going to put the plus or minus on the front. And then the square root cancels out that squared, leaving just x. And that's the final answer.